2022 and I'm excited because I'm welcoming two of my favorite gentlemen. Number one, number one, numero uno is our precious commissioner who is getting things done in Gilmer County. Charlie Paris, Thank welcome. You. Thank you for being here today. You Thank always, you. I enjoy it. you encourage me because um, I understand that there is a force of people out there who are getting paid not to work and you're a force that's getting paid to work and <laughs> right. you're working right. <laughs> and I love that. <laughs> I love that. And and Jack was talking about this before we came on the air. Why don't we encourage people by giving them a bonus, by giving them a yeah. raise, by encouraging them to come back to work? Let's get everybody back to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is Gilmer yeah. County back to work? Not completely. We've got quite a few vacancies right now and mm -hmm. trying to fill them. Um, I, I mentioned the idea of bonuses and it wasn't met very favorably in terms of state law. Really? Uh, government is wow. different from everybody else in the entire world. Wow. But uh, we, uh, in our 22 budget, we've got some significant salary increases built in. So we're uh -huh. hoping that's going to help us out. I hope it will. Now, what are the departments that you really need help with? The road department primarily. We're, mm -hmm. we're very low on the road crew right now. We've got a number of vacancies there. Mm -hmm. uh, so, that's, so if you've got a man or a woman who could fill a position. Yeah. Yeah. So just, Sounds like uh, a plan to me. It does. Does yeah. it come with benefits and insurance? It comes with benefits and insurance. That's yeah. awesome. That's uh, awesome. And uh, we're given uh, uh, substantial raises to the road crew uh, from what it used top to, be. to bottom. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think that's encouraging. And Jack, you know this as being a former police officer. You know if you are rewarded for doing well, then you do better. Right. You know, you just do better. And Jack has a mic today. Hand me that mic for just a minute. Let's do a little kick. Let's do a little kick. They, they handed me this and I said, I am not Loretta Lynn. And I handed it back to him. <laughs> <laughs> I am not, because that reminds me of being on the stage singing, and I cannot carry a tune in a bucket, so Jack is going to do that mic today. But, you know, we are in a county that is bursting, booming, finally growing. It's been a little slow. It's been in the middle of ball ground, which is bursting at the seams, Blue Ridge, which already exploded, and then Ella J was kind of sitting here not doing a lot, but I'm seeing a lot of cool things in town now. Uh, yeah, quite a bit. The uh, the one thing that we have to learn to do, though, in, in Gilmer County, I'm not speaking for LJ or East LJ, uh -huh. is we, now that we're, the growth is coming, we've got to manage the growth. Yes. Because, unfortunately, a lot of it is coming in areas where we don't have the infrastructure mm -hmm. to support it. Mm -hmm. And the areas where we do have the infrastructure is not seeing the growth. So Isn't that to, weird? Yeah. yeah, we've got yeah. to try to, to manage that a bit. Right. And um, normally we're on Facebook, but we're not going to be doing Facebook right now. We had a little glitch, a couple of things going on uh, in the morning because I will just say we are now a one man crew because Cole, that has been with me since forever, has moved on to a job in Florida. And so Tim is managing everything alone. And we used to have four people in the booth, and we had audio, we had this, we had this, and now Tim is like the one-man show. And there's a, a singer out of um, Chattanooga, his name is Mike Smith, and he, he dubs himself the one-man band. Tim is today the one-man band, so he's gonna be taking care of everything we do today. And rather than being on Facebook today, we will go, um, he will download this and it will be on YouTube later. So. But it is, you know, we are seeing companies um, downsize and pay more to one person to do the job and giving them more responsibilities. We are seeing companies hire own and then some people get annoyed because they're giving hire own bonuses and then they don't compliment the people who've been there a long time. So that's causing a little controversy. 
And it would. If you'd, been, if you'd been a deputy 40 years and they hired in some little recruit and said, yeah. we're going to give you $5,000 bonus if you stay six months, you're going to have him out behind the jail yeah. whooping him. Is that true? <laughs> Not behind the jail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but but that we have seen some companies say hire on bonus, and then immediately yeah. on their Facebook page you see their employees who've been there a long time. What about us old timers who've yeah. been there a long time? How are we being rewarded? So I think you have to reward all your employees. And that's something we had to look at uh, when we were talking about those substantial raises for the road crew. Mm -hmm. uh, we're doing raises across the board, but the road crew in particular, they were the, the most behind, let's say. Uh -huh. uh, and we were uh, really concerned about the starting wage. Right. But you cannot just bump up that starting wage and not do anything for the folks who are already there. Exactly. So we made the decision that it's just going to be across the board. That's and awesome. I think that's going to work out yeah, better. Yeah, that's awesome. Now what about this year? Did you have people retire? Did that create positions that are available? Or did people leave because of health issues? What happened? Um, we've, we've had relatively few retirements. There's been a couple, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, not a lot. Uh, primarily, uh, people are leaving because they can get more money somewhere else. Right. Uh, now that's the people who are, are working. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. uh, we're trying to figure out how to attract those that aren't working, but we haven't gotten there yet. But of those that we had and are working for us, uh, the primary reason they leave is because they can get more money in, in fanning or pickings or wherever. And that's mm -hmm. why in the 22 budget, um, the biggest increase that, that we have in there is salaries. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to address that so that we can keep people with us instead of trying to uh, figure out what train them to go to, to Fannin County. Exactly. Yeah, you train right. them and then they go to Fannin County. That's right. not nice. <laughs> not. Uh, Mother Nature is going to strike somebody. <laughs> they don't like that. <laughs> right. Now, the 2022, mm -hmm. the fuel prices are up, so your budget had to adjust for that. Right. Fuel prices are up 30 percent at least. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the cost of concrete is up. You have to adjust for that. The cost yep. of pavement is up. You have to adjust for that. With all the adjustments, are you going to be on budget this year? We are going to be on budget. Um, the uh, we will come in uh, on budget for 21, mm -hmm. and we have a balanced budget for 22. And we've we've taken into account all those various increases. Uh, our 22 budget is the uh, maintenance and operation portion of that budget is about five million dollars more than the 21 budget. Wow. And uh, the biggest part of that, the greatest part of that, is increased salaries. Mm -hmm. And then uh, most of the remainder of that is inflation, the, uh, the concrete, the mm -hmm. gas, mm -hmm. uh, everything that we're paying tires. so Tires, to buy tires. a tire. And, yeah. And we go yeah. through a few tires. Yes, I can imagine um, you do. So I've uh, been to Kusawati, and if you service Kusawati, <laughs> yeah, I know, you've been through some tires. <laughs> Yeah. But uh, it's a balanced budget. Our revenue is, uh, continues to go up, mm -hmm. and we're very appreciative of that. Um, do people so. squawk about their taxes? Do oh, people, yeah. do they really? <laughs> oh, yeah. See, to me, I mean, I don't like the fa fact that taxes are what they are, but living in Pickens County for all those years, we didn't have the, I call it the old age deal mm -hmm. that you get. And do you yeah. get that in Gilmer County? You do get that you in Gilmer get that County. In Gilmer County yes. And you get it in Cherokee County, but you didn't in Pickens. And people, ooh, that was a squawking bunch because they were squawking, squawking. I'm moving to Gilmer County. I'm moving to Cherokee County. And a lot yeah. of them did. Yeah. A lot of them did. So, so they do get that bonus if you're over, is it 65? If you're over 65, you don't have to pay school tax. Mm -hmm. And school tax is two thirds of your tax. Sure bill. it is. Sure it so is. Yeah. It's, it's a, significant uh, benefit there. Yeah, yeah. So there's something really cool about being over 65. <laughs> the only thing really that I've found so far. There yeah, is, yeah. So. <laughs> well, we're going we're gonna to talk about being over 65 because Jack was here last year for my birthday and I found two things. Tomorrow my daughter Dawn is going to be with me. And I, I found this and I just loved it. She gave me this uh, last year and I, I use it often, but it says on January the 12th, which is tomorrow, in time, with enough love and patience, a person who irritated us may become a blessing and a comfort to us instead. And I think it's very appropriate because as a teenager, my daughter that I love more than life probably irritated the patoozy out of me. <laughs> and then yeah. she has become a wonderful, amazing woman. But there's somebody who has just scratched you wrong, hurt your feelings, done whatever, but if with patience and love you can get through that.
But then the next one says, and this is funny because I'm not going to be here on my birthday. We're doing a special that actually features my daughter reading a letter she wrote me and I didn't even know she did this and then we did the show and so I want to share that with y'all on Thursday because I have a doctor's appointment for my post-op so God met me more than halfway he freed me from my anxious fears and I think that is so appropriate with this year because so many people are fearing COVID they are fearing the end of their life they are fearing the economy failing because yeah. we're seeing and we as a realtor we talk about this all the time we're selling houses at way way over inflated prices because the interest is super low now if the interest adjusts even to four percent it takes this many people out of the market and we know that <clears throat> so we are seeing and we don't want you to live with fear God met me more than halfway he freed me from my anxious fears so if you're thinking about buying your first home and you're, uh, I don't know, what are the interest changes? Lock in for 30 years. Mm -hmm. If you're thinking about buying your first home and you can make a little extra payment, lock in for 15 years. But don't let fear stop you from living your life. I like that particularly because that would happens to be my birthday. January 13th. Yeah. That's right. I remember we share our birthday. We, do. we are both kind, <laughs> sweet, good hearted, Capricorn, Absolutely. stubborn as a bull. Is there anything I'm leaving out? Actually, I don't think we're Capricorns anymore. Yes, we are. I think they changed it. Really? What are we? I, um, no, surely not. I'm a Capricorn. <laughs> check, check into it. I was reading okay. a thing the other day where they've realigned all those oh things. Oh my gosh. And I was no longer a Capricorn. I don't remember what, what I was. What are we? <laughs> I don't remember. But. I like Capricorns pretty, uh, and I, and they're pretty be, powerful. <laughs> I'd love to be wrong about that, but I do remember reading that. Well, that I will check that out. That. Yeah, I forgot we do share <laughs> a birthday. Yeah. Am, Sherry. What are you? Let me show you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Clovis first. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, yay! Oh, oh, oh. Yay! <laughs> I tell you what, last night, <laughs> last night at midnight, I'm up going through my cabinet, getting out my shirt when they won the last time, had every signature from every player on it, and I lay it on my bed, and I take a picture of it, and I post it. I was so excited. I can't believe they're national champions. I can't believe they're national champions. I kept looking at it thinking, is this right? Is this true? Did they really do this? <laughs> so, you know we have more than that to celebrate day. You know that, don't you? What? We could not go unnoticed that it is. What is it? Charlie and Sherry's birthday. Oh, so <laughs> we're going to have cake? <laughs> what are we having? Oh my gosh, we are having cake. Charlie, look. Look at this. Oh, how precious. Oh, how sweet. Thank you. How sweet is that? It is our birthdays. I, I forget that we share a birthday. How sweet is that? Get that candle out. Get that candle. Is it one of those candles that still burn the building down? <laughs> do we have a lighter? Yes, we do. Of course we do. How sweet is this? I love it. This is so sweet. Yeah. Oh, and let me tell you what I did. I will put this candle on here. I walked in the door today with spaghetti and homemade cookies for Tim because I celebrated with Cole on um, Sunday. And so I felt like I couldn't leave Tim out, so I had to bring him some stuff to eat today, too. So he got my homemade spaghetti. Gone, sure. Is it going to go? Hey. Yeah, it's gone now. Let me do that. Okay. But anyway, so um, let's celebrate life. Let's celebrate life. You know, okay. it's 2022. We all made it. How many of our friends didn't? Sadly, many of our friends did not make it. But Happy birthday. I thank God. Yay. Put the mic in my hand today. <laughs> Folks, we're going to sing happy birthday. We got the short version. You I'm can sing? sing That's I'm right. To, yeah. Oh. Quietly threw me out. I can sing from there. Well, let's almost sing it once. Okay. Then you're going to join me. And I can't all sing. All the people out there oh. in the TC going to join me. Short <laughs> version of Charlie and Sherry. This is your birthday song. It isn't very long. <laughs> hey, now join me. This is <laughs> your birthday <laughs> song. <laughs> it isn't it very, very long. long. <laughs> hey. hey. Happy birthday. How Happy sweet birthday. are yeah, you? Wow. How precious. Thank you so much. Blow it out, Charlie. Whee! Get our wish. It is one of those. Get our wish. 
Okay. Got it. Uh, Yay. I don't okay. Want some utensils if you want mm. something we are wishing for 2022 to be the very, very best yes. ever. Thank you so much. And you all thank you, thank you, thank you. My friend Sherry. Thank you so much. I'm also blessed to sit next to Chairman Ferris. I'm so proud folks, of folks, he's the real deal. This man loves animals. He showed that. He loves Gilmer County. And yeah. You know, I was going to say that to you. Sir. And there's something unique about a man that's modest. Sweet, 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 and, sweet. And a little bit From my out. friends at Fogus. We have a little uh, doggy on there. How <laughs> sweet is that? How sweet is that? How sweet is that? That looks like I failed over the weekend. I was ready for some sleep. So. <laughs> that's cool. Charlie. Folks, listen, he's a real deal. He not only loves animals, but very few times. And a politician and a person in government, you find somebody that also loves the community. Lives yep. in, he loves the people. He does. He serves. He does serve. He yes. Serves. Yes. And we're just blessed. We God are blessed. Bless him for Sherry. And God bless us with Charlie and Barbara. Thank you. She's a good partner for a man that uh, does so much for our community. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so thank much. You, Jack, I never know what Jack's going to do, so yeah. thank you. I forgot you were with me last I, year I on my birthday. I can't dance, Sherry, but we'll hold it. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to do pole dancing. Okay. Okay, let's get back to Gilmer yeah. County. Let's let's encourage people. How do they apply for a job? If somebody's looking to work and they mm -hmm. would love to have great benefits, the possibility of raises by performance, mm -hmm. How do they how do they apply? They can apply online from the uh, county's website mm -hmm. uh, www.gilmercounty-ga.gov mm -hmm. or uh, we have uh, application forms uh, right outside the window there in the commissioner's office so okay uh, easy to uh, easy to get to and easy to apply. Now, when you first came in and decided you wanted to be in, involved in politics and, mm -hmm. and I think I'm going to do this. You did it first first term any surprises were things like you thought it would be you know um, I've always answered that by quoting President Kennedy and unfortunately most of the time I find people looking at me like you remember President Kennedy yes I do I do uh, <laughs> when he was first elected and he was holding his first press conference uh, one of the questions was uh, what was the biggest surprise that you you found and his answer was, I was really surprised to find that things really were as bad as I'd been saying they were. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, yes. that's what, yes, that's what yes. I relate to. Yes, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. And, and again, you've always told me that your phone rings constantly and somebody has an issue or a problem and you have to address it to right. the best of your ability. Right. There are certain problems you can't solve, and we saw that That's with the right. Boardtown Road problem, but the community came together, and thank God mm -hmm. for David Ralston, right. and thank God for the people who stepped up and helped to stop a project right. that would have destroyed a beautiful six-mile community. And we saw that the people can speak, and the people can be heard, mm -hmm. and I think that that was, spoke volumes for just it our did. government, because some people say, well, I'm not going to vote because my vote doesn't count, or I'm not going to do this because it doesn't matter. I volunteer all the time, and I remember being on the Board of Directors for Habitat for Humanity. It opened my eyes to not everybody is as blessed as we are. Not everybody, um, you know, can even afford to adopt an animal. You think about that. If there's yeah. a, a widow left alone, barely making ends meet, and she would love to have a pet, she can't even afford a pet. You know, and, and we see that, and, and I'm like, holy cow, all of us can help. And in the near future, y'all are going to get to meet a friend of mine. His name is Dominic, and he's from New York, and he's a real New Yorker. And if you like pizza, you are like Dom. But he is doing something in Cherokee County to help other people. And I think that's what we all, and that's what you've done. You've reached out in every avenue of Gilmer County to say, what can I do here, 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 or here to make all our lives better? Thank you. I think it's important. I think it's important. We can't just focus in on sports. We right. can't focus in on the roads. <clears throat> we can't focus in on just the animals. We have to address every single issue. And there are multiple yeah. issues that had problems. And that's one of the things that I have to tell people sometimes because sometimes folks get so focused on a particular problem mm -hmm. that, you know, if I tell them, well, we don't have the money to do that right now, we'll take the money from here, take it from here. And I have to explain that that county government, at least, is a balance. Uh -huh. You know, you can't just pick one segment 
and say we're putting everything here right. and we're ignoring everything else because, um, you know, a lot of people would love to see us put everything in the roads, but then there are folks who Parks and Rec's important to them. Right. Did the swimming pool get finished? No. Okay. I was afraid to even ask that question. I know we had well, talked about that on, on former shows. For the first time in a very long time, I feel like we're making progress now. Okay. We found somebody that will do the engineering for us. Okay. And I know uh, you were just trying to get bids last year. Just bids. We bid it out twice and nobody bid on it. Really? Yeah. Wow. Um, and then we started trying to figure out why nobody would bid on it. And it turns out they didn't like the engineering that we got from the engineering outfit out in California. Well, which was the only that. place we could find to that would it, would, that it would take the job to engineer the swimming pool. At That's that crazy. Time. That's crazy. So uh, we've been working through an awful lot of issues, mm -hmm. um, and I think we're really starting to make some progress. We hired a uh, uh, project manager. And I told him his number one responsibility is get that swimming pool built. Yes, so, yes, yes. Uh, this is a community well with it. a lot of kids who don't exactly. have in-home pools. They don't have the ability to go somewhere kayaking every weekend. Mm -hmm. So they'd like to have something for right. recreation. Yeah. One of the things, that, one of the problems we had was the original design of the pool was very fancy. Uh -huh. Beautiful pool. I mean, very impressive, but difficult to build. I'm yeah. Sure. And why did you need that? So. Well, apparently we didn't because the, the new uh, folks that are planning on doing the engineering now have given us a revise, and it's basically just a rectangle. Simplify, with a deep yeah. End. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's going to be eight lanes for our swimming, swimming team. team. Yep, uh, that's and awesome. That'll, that'll uh, help them out. We've already got heaters that were donated to heat the water. Mm -hmm. And if we can ever get the swimming pool built and get it online and, and functioning, our next project will be then to try to get a cover over it. Mm -hmm. But I'm not even thinking about that till I actually get something that people can jump right. into. Right, right. Um, I have a friend who just moved from the Ackworth area into Ball Ground, and in order to get her child on a swimming team, she had to drive all the way to Cumming. Yeah. And it would have been 30 minutes here, it's 24 minutes to Cumming. So, you know, she gets it either way. Mm -hmm. But not all communities have swimming teams, but kids love that. Oh, yeah. And it's, yeah. it's a great activity. It, it builds, number one, strength, it builds character. And Olympic swimmers have often come from small towns. Right. So. And we have some swimmers that are uh, doing very well, very highly placed within the state. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, We need a pool. We need a pool. We need a pool. Get her done. Absolutely. <laughs> get her done. All right, well, we're going to get something done right now. We're going to get something done to share something. This is my birthday present to me. Uh, I didn't have it, couldn't find it, didn't know where it was, but I know somebody who knew how to find it. And last night I got a sweet, sweet message from Debbie uh, Norton. Her mom is battling COVID again. And um, she was a lady who you saw here on ETC in the early stages of dementia, but we had no idea. She ended up with full-blown Alzheimer's. And right now she is in the battle of her life. And so we want to share a little something with you. And um, I'm excited that we found it because I couldn't find it to save my soul. But here we go. So, Tim, you are amazing. He is the one-man show. And uh, he always comes through. So here we go. Here's a little bit of music and a little bit of memories from uh, a sweet, sweet lady and uh, somebody you might recognize.
Okay, there you go. Happy birthday to me, from me and from Tim. He, when I came in and he said, look what I found, I was like, ah, I've looked everywhere for it. So <laughs> that's awesome. You know, um, we were just talking during the music, we couldn't hear the music, but, but sharing the idea that God is in charge of everything. And when your mom, when your friend, when your wife, when your spouse comes down with dementia, um, God knew that plan, he knew that journey, he knew that you would be there to help them through that. And as a minister, how do you tell people you can get through this and you can make it through the end of a horrible disease? How do you encourage people? <clears throat> Sherry, I think that we do that through example. Mm -hmm. There's so many examples through the Bible and through other lives and stuff that people's been through so many trials and tribulations. They went down into the valley of the shadow of death. Absolutely. And they crawl back out the other side and they survive and those right. survival tales really encourage people because they can look at you and say well they made it i can't too yeah yeah, yeah. and god's standing right there with us and yeah. when i volunteer for focus uh you know god tells us to take care of the animals yeah yeah charlie knows that and you know that and, but we need to take care of people too yeah, yeah. And, and it is very hard, um, we often forget um, how, how much somebody's hurting. We often forget how that moment, one thing will trigger a memory of a lost loved one. And you just have to get through that moment, that hour, that, you know, however long it takes you to get through it. <coughs> and I know um, I, I'm a member of a club now that I don't like, but it's moms who've lost children. And it amazes me at how many friends I have who've lost their children. And um, yeah, yeah, we you deal didn't with know it. That, did you? No, I did not. Yeah, and and you deal with it. But does every birthday, every anniversary, does it hurt still? Well, Sherry, our son was killed in a car wreck in 1991. He was 17, senior in high school. His birthday was January the third. Yeah. You sort of anticipate those things coming up. And yeah. The day he died, I wonder how he'd look now. If right. he was uh, 50 <coughs> or 48 years old. Yeah. But you can get through it because other people got it. You, you made it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I made yeah. it. My wife made it. But yeah. We, we made it a different way. We survived, and now we adjust our life to deal with that. Yeah. And I can still look. I can look at this picture all through the house now and not cry and break down. Yeah. Couldn't do that eventually. I yeah. couldn't. I remember when I went to work one time, and one of the ladies that worked with me, Deputy Sher, she says, uh, Jack. Do you know you got on two different colored socks? And I told her. You're lucky I got on anything. I told her, no, they were the same color when I put on them this morning. But we'll make it through. You'll make it through. I'll make it through. And yeah. we can be an example for other people. We mm -hmm. can actually go down to the <coughs> valley of the shadow of death. Mm -hmm. and we can pluck those people out of there and we can help them get to the other side. And right. That's what ministers are for. That's what. Charlie Paris's is for, and that's what Sherry's for. It's not only your show, it's helping people, and, you know, helping animals. And, you know, I've been involved with Focus about 10 years. Mm -hmm. Charlie's been right there along with us, and you've been a big supporter of us, and I'm absolutely blessed to represent such a wonderful organization, Focus. Yep. And what's wonderful about that is not the name Focus, but it's the volunteers that's behind there. And I'm going to give you a passionate plea today. Listen, uh, Focus has been around to augment the Gilmer County Animal Shelter. Mm -hmm. okay? We're not the Gilmer County Animal Shelter. We're 501c3 with non-paid volunteers that helps the shelter with programs and adoptions and all kinds of matter of fact. And I got to throw in a, a plug for Dr. Chester because yesterday I went by his office and even though his big huge office with massive parking, every parking place was full. Every parking place was full. And I was like, holy cow. So, and even the animal shelter truck from Pickens County was there. And I'm like, holy cow. So he, he has been yeah. such a blessing. He's a wonderful man. He helps us with, <coughs> excuse me, he helps us with a bunch of programs. Folks, I think Fogus has been around since about 2005, we're incorporated. And we're incorporated to help the county build a new shelter. That shelter is in the same place today. Yep. And, Chair, pa Chairman Paris has helped the shelter turn around from a kill shelter to a no-kill shelter. Yep. 
and we've done wonders. All the rescue groups, Focus, Homeward Bound, Purrs for Fur. There's, all, there's so many groups that help the county and the folks here. And you're talking right. about people can't afford to adopt a dog. Well, yep. the shelter runs specials once in a while where you can get a dog or a cat for practically nothing. Mm -hmm. And then Focus, we run a program out of the shelter where we rescue 10 to 12 dogs or cats every month. We pay for the spay and neuter, all the veterinarian. We, they go on to county shelters, sh transport van that Sharon Pear has got for the shelter. Mm -hmm. And those dogs and cats are going to 11th hour in New Jersey and they have owners before they even get there. That's awesome. And no, yeah. Focus does so many other things. We have low cost or no cost spay and neuter programs. Since 2017, I'm proud to say with Ernie Taylor, our program manager for those programs that started, we've done over 800 Unreal. no cost or low cost spay and neuters for people in Gilmer County. Well, actually for people's animals in mm -hmm. Gilmer County. Let right. Me specify. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But folks, listen, I'm looking in the eye. Today is a crossway, crossroad for focus. We're down to a skeleton crew of volunteers. We're talking about paying people to work. Well, I'm offering you a volunteer job with no pay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But with the satisfaction. Yeah. Of what a reward. Of working with animals, looking those animals in the eyes and knowing they show gratitude all the time. They're glad to see you. Working with volunteers that love to help those animals and doing some programs that can be fun for you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put now, I'm so serious about this and I'm not one of these info Let people. Let me see that. I'm, I'm not one of these info people. <laughs> okay. But I made me a little sign here. All right, so Ken can put it on the air. Phone number. Show it, to show, show it to share. Jack's phone number. If you this want to be a volunteer. This is my personal cell phone number, folks. We would love for you to be a part of Focus. The number is 407, which is an Orlando number. 415-1043, but it's your cell number. So it's that not long distance for you to call him. And um, there is his email. And, you know, if you want to be involved, and it, it doesn't cost you, but it, it pays you in rewards right. with those precious animals and those amazing volunteers and just the difference you make in the lives of so many people. So, again, take note and write that down. And if you want to be a part of that, you know, being a part of something that um, helps other people productive, at the end of the deal, you get the reward every single time. Well, sir, when you were talking about Dr. Chester, he brings his staff down into Gilmer County from Jasper, but his family lives in this community. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this is another modest person. <coughs> he, He's amazing. He wants to give back to the community. So he comes down and we have a mobile span neuter clinic at the Civic Center. No charge. They don't charge for nonprofits. Mm -hmm. And we do 30 something span neuters right at the Civic Center. We sell uh, no cost or low cost span neuter certificates. This month is going to be at the uh, Gilmer Chamber office right there by Tractor Supply. Mm -hmm. It'll be the 12th of January. I think it's this coming Sunday, 1 o'clock. No, this coming. The 12th is tomorrow. Oh, maybe 16th. The, the 16th. 16th, okay. Whatever this Sunday is. <laughs> this Sunday. This, this Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> Cross out the 12th, and if this is 16th, put the 16th. If it's not that, just remember Sunday. Sunday. Be a tractor supply at 1 o'clock. People get there early. If you can afford it, it's $25 for a spay and neuter certificate, and it will be done on... February the 11th, mm -hmm. I think that's a Friday. Mm -hmm. Just look on the second Friday in February in case mm -hmm. that's not the 11th, but I think that's the day. Yeah. And that's when it'll be the span neuter, uh, span neuter uh, clinic. And Dr. Chester also brings the staff down twice a year mm -hmm. and right by the courthouse. We have a low cost mobile vaccination clinic. And that's where you can come down there, load your cars up, load your animals up in a car. We'll then take you, the focus volunteers, direct you the right thing. You drive up there. They take whatever fee it is they're charging you, which is a very minimal fee. And, and plan then, now to do this. Don't yeah. don't worry about and stress over it. I'll plan now dates. to do it. Yeah. I'll give you the dates. Right now, we're the only group that's doing it. 
Uh, so plan on that. We'll do it twice a year. It's going to be coming up in May, and I mm -hmm. think we'll do another one in October. Mm -hmm. And I think we've done uh, as many as 560 vaccinations in one day. That's crazy. That's and crazy. And another thing we're working with the county, which is for the cat lovers, we started a TNR program, Trap, Neuter, and Release, mm -hmm. in conjunction with the shelter. <coughs> People mm -hmm. call in to some phone numbers like this one or mm -hmm. several volunteers. We do a spreadsheet. We send it down to Daniel at the shelter. Uh, Jeremy's not there anymore. We're looking for another animal control person mm -hmm. for the shelter. But then they go out, they set the traps, they trap the uh, feral cats. Mm -hmm. and, you know, we don't really know what a feral cat is sometimes, but I learned that really a feral cat is three generations into the wild or better. Mm -hmm. They're truly feral cats. You don't see those. You hear them fighting like mm -hmm. cats with the cat fights on your porch at night, but when you look out there, you can't see them. Then you got the outside cats. They're less than three generations, and they're still around the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about outside cats that's running around the neighborhood or feral cats. They trap them, bring them back. Fogus, we pay for the, well, actually, we we're going to pay for the first 80. We've got about 39 so far. Wow. And then we take them, they take them back to where they trapped them. They can't repopulate, or if they're not, they don't, people don't want them back. We, Daniel tries to find a barn mm -hmm. or a farm that wants some cats. <coughs> so that's a wonderful program. And there's too. always a smorgasbord menu at a farm or a barn. <laughs> and the, and the most important thing we're trying to do, Sherry, we're trying to touch the new generation. We're offering responsible pet ownership classes, and we've done them at the Boys Club mm -hmm. a bunch of times, and they seem to be receptive. We mm -hmm. take some dogs and cats down there, and we teach them. Not, it's not a piece of uh, property. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're part of your family. Right? Yeah, it has a heart. You need to be responsible. Yeah. You need to be able to fed, afford to feed them, afford to vet them. Yep. And then we've been offered uh, the Northside Christian School up here on Maddox. Uh, I think one of the children's, their parents, was in administration up there, and he brought the literature home, and they, we've been invited to go up there and do the same thing from the mm -hmm, K through mm -hmm. four. Yep. So if we can touch a young kid, yep. it's going to have a difference maybe in 10 years sure. or 12 years or 15 years. Yep. So yep. folks, like Sherry said, if you can volunteer, please give me a call. I'll answer your call. That's my personal email address, jackpeden at live.com. Shoot me an email. I answer you. If you have a couple hours a month that you can spare, Give me a call, and we'll put you in the right program that will right. make you feel very good about yourself and your family. That's it. God bless you. Thank you for volunteering with your dad. One of the takeaways from this, too, is that Fogus has been a tremendous help to the animal shelter. Mm -hmm. It's unbelievably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, as you've just heard, it's not just the animal shelter. They are that kind of a help to everybody, mm -hmm. every animal, every animal lover, in Gilmer County. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. And, and you know what I love about this? You know, we always talk about, well, I grew up here. This is important. I did this. I did this. Most of these people are transplants who came to this area and fell in love with the area. And I like that because they chose to come here. You know, they weren't born here. They weren't it, not fifth generation uh, Gilmer County. But they chose to live here, and they mm -hmm. chose to become a part of the community. And I think that's the most important thing. Wherever you choose to land, become part of that community and try to better that community. Right. And, and that's something that we need to see everywhere. And Sherry, when they come, believe me, folks, they bring their animals with them. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. They're not going to leave their family behind. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. We're, we're going to be doing the annual St. Patrick's Day parade and festivities in LJ is going to be March the 12th, mm -hmm. the Saturday. Uh, the chamber is going to do a national pet friendly month of March, advertising Gilmer County as a pet friendly community. It's mm -hmm. going to be a national campaign. They're giving away one week stay in a pet friendly venue here. So folks, if you see a lot of critters running around in March, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> A lot of our venues are pet friendly. Thank That's God. That's right. Yeah. Charlie Paris has made uh, Gilmer County pet friendly. 
and listen, uh, Ella J is, Harrison Park, you see River Park, yeah. and you see the animals coming. So you know, we're trying to prepare for that because those animals also need services. <coughs> It's, it's so funny because uh, you, you talk about a pet like it is part of your family. It is part of your family. And last week, I had a dear friend that had to put down one of her pets. And she said, you'll just have to excuse the way I acted yesterday. But she said, we had to put down. And she said, I've just cried and cried and cried. Mm -hmm. This isn't just something you sit on a shelf. It becomes part of your family. And I got tickled because today, Tim added a program that I did about 10 years ago with Loretta Lynn's children and we were up at Hurricane Mills. Well, I'm highly allergic to cats, even though I had a cat for a long, long time. I'm so allergic to cats. And I'm sitting there interviewing Loretta Lynn's daughter and all of a sudden this huge black cat jumps up in her lap and I'm like, okay. <laughs> it was so funny. And I thought, you can't make this stuff up, you know, because I didn't bother to say, do you have a cat in the building? I just, you know, I'm sitting there interviewing her and then the cat jumps up in her lap. And I was talking to somebody this morning and I said, oh, you gotta watch that because you love cats and you'll love this. There are people who absolutely, their only companionship is their animal, right. is their animal. And I saw that with Betty Sue, she just loved her cat. And during the whole rest of the interview, she just sat there and stroked her cat and loved on her cat. And, and, and it just, it's a great relationship. Yeah. But like last week when they had to put theirs down, they, she was beside herself. And I've been there, I've been, I've been there. And I've had to make that decision and you just, it is gut wrenching. But thank God we do have good vets who can take care of that and who can work you through the process. And um, often you have to make that decision to let them go. Mm -hmm. And it's hard. Yeah, and I see that all the time where somebody adopts family member or pet and uh, I look at them I say you both just hit the lottery yeah and they did yeah yeah and yeah and we've been all through that with the pets having a you know doing what's best year for your pet yep I yep and you have to do that like you said maybe we and it hurts yeah you were up to yeah. how many did you have and now you're down we uh, we were up to four mm -hmm. uh, and now we're at one Wow. And we just had a big scare with the one. Wow. We, we spent uh, most of the afternoon until about midnight on the 23rd of December at the University of Tennessee Veterinary Hospital really? with her um, with uh, paralysis. Uh, she just collapsed. Uh, she couldn't had no control over her back legs. Oh my goodness. How did you know to go to the University so. of Tennessee? Well, we didn't initially. We went to our vet here, and, uh -huh. and the diagnosis was that it's, uh, you know, it's it's more serious than, than what we deal with here, uh -huh. and uh, you need a specialist. Wow. And they had uh, they had a good list of seven or eight, and we'd rather go here or here or here, uh -huh. and we picked one. Well, and they called, and uh -huh. they were great with us. Okay, these folks can't take you. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the 23rd of December, and wow. And wow. So they call the next one. It's like, well, we can't take anything that might have to be hospitalized today. Right. Went all the way down the list, and honestly, the University of Tennessee was the last one we picked because it was the farthest away. Yes. Yeah. And but you made that choice. I, yeah. And and yeah. they said, well, we you know bring her on and we'll we'll look at her. So. Uh huh. Uh, we jumped in car headed to Knoxville. <laughs> oh my gosh, Charlie, that's crazy. Now that's yes, normal uh, for a pet lover. It yeah. is. Well, I have a friend who's in Pennsylvania right now and she messaged me last week and said, please pray for me. Bella is in her last stage mm -hmm. of congestive heart failure. And Bella is like her baby. It's not just yeah. her pet, it's her baby. It was her husband's pet who, and her husband was killed in front of her. Mm -hmm. So she not only dealt with the death of her husband, she dealt with now taking care of his pet that it w is like the connecting force between them. And she just, she went to the University of Pennsylvania. So there's something about the, the colleges that have these yeah. great vet clinics and uh, they've given her nine months hope. So that's, mm -hmm. you know, that's nine more months of happiness. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, so what happened? Yeah, we've got to take a commercial well, break. Are we going to take a commercial break? All right, we got to do this. This is what we're going to do. Okay. All right, we did one at the beginning of the show, so now we're going to do another one. Please remember our sponsors. Please remember that if you are looking to buy, sell, or remodel, pick up the phone and call me or Evelyn. You will see our phone number in just a minute. We are super busy, super happy making folks um, just, you know, that right place, that right property. We would love to be your realtor. Here we go. <laughs> Whether you're swimming in the sea 
or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece, or just making memories. Writing a great American novel, or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. Charlie's dog is on the mend, yep. taking a little bit of uh, vacation to slow her down. And right. so you have a couple of months of just relaxing and resting. And yep. was the trip to the University of Tennessee very informative and something you were glad you did? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Because we were actually, the alternative was to, that we would be putting her down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I spent most of that afternoon believing that that's the way this was going to end. Yeah, yeah. So the folks there at the University of Tennessee were just wonderful. That's they, awesome. Uh, uh, they gave us options, and she's doing much better. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we're very hopeful. And she's this. 10 and a half, which means she's 70 something in in yeah. in human life. Yeah, yeah. We had the family over on Sunday for Christmas, which we had not had done for two, three years. Mm -hmm. and she was running and jumping and playing and carrying on, and apparently she dislodged something. Wow. She damaged a disc some way in her back. Oh, wow. And that was... Uh, so rest and relaxation is ordered. Yep. There you go. <laughs> so there you go. So muscle relaxers yeah, and yeah. lay in bed and sleep. Oh, that's funny. So. What, what a life. <laughs> right, yeah. So she's got it made. What's her name? Abby. Abby. So, Abby, we hope you get well. Charlie, tell us, give us five minutes of what you want to see happen in Gilmer County for the next year. I want to see people starting to get along a little better. Mm -hmm. I've heard that. Uh, yeah. We've we've had several, we've, we've got some big differences that have come up. Mm -hmm. And one of the biggest ones is uh, keeping rural, keeping Gilmer rural and so forth. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I want to keep Gilmer rural. Uh, I understand, though, that you cannot stop all growth. No. And I think most people do understand mm -hmm. that. Um, planned growth. Planned growth planned is growth. what it's going to be all about. Yeah. And, and we'll be introducing some, or I'll be introducing some changes. I hope the others will go along with it in our uh, uh, ordinance for subdivisions uh, requiring the developers to be a little more active in things like planning for fire protection and so mm -hmm. forth mm -hmm. uh, in the large subdivisions that they develop. But if, uh, if we can get past that sort of thing, um, then I think that would be the biggest thing because Gilmer County, you know, one of the best things about Gilmer County is that it's so friendly. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it still is, but I don't want to see us start getting away from that. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. um, 
we've got uh, the economy is going great. Mm -hmm. So my big hope there is just that it doesn't tank. Right. Um, We're all a bit so. nervous. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Because it, it went woo and it could go woo. It can. It can. <laughs> yeah. But we'll be better sh in better shape this time when it goes with yes. than we were yes. the first time. Yes. Um, because we've got uh, we've got a little over three months of expenditures set back now, mm -hmm. which we did not have the first go around. Mm -hmm. So uh, we can weather it, but I just as soon continue to be prosperous and exactly. not weather it. You know exactly. Um, new businesses coming to Gilmer County? Anything new that we don't know about? Uh, well, no, not that uh, we don't know about. Most of the businesses that come in are coming in in LJ and East LJ. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I'm probably one of the last ones to hear about them because we don't have anything to do with that. Mm -hmm. um, we do have uh, new ones coming in. There's a uh, <coughs> Buffalo Luke's, mm -hmm. of course, being built there. Right. And, and what's we the have one in place? Jasper, yeah. What, Bojangles. Uh, Bojangles. Bojangles. Yeah. Praise we'll the Lord. That. Love that Bojangles. Looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah. So far, I hadn't heard anybody say anything that we're getting a Red Lobster, and that disappoints me. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, we're, we're, we've got a very nice community. We've got the amenities that make people happy. Mm -hmm. um, a wonderful downtown area. A wonderful, wonderful downtown, downtown, area, downtown area. And a very rural outer mm -hmm, area mm -hmm. for those who want the space and the mm -hmm. quietness and so forth. One of the things uh, that, and I was gonna mention this a while ago, that really I feel so good about is if you walk downtown um, on the weekends, which is about the only time I ever walk around downtown. Right. There are so many businesses that as you walk by, you notice out next to their door, they've got a big water bowl for the dogs. Mm -hmm. I've seen that, yeah. And I haven't seen that yes. anywhere else yes. other than LA. I've seen that, and so. I, that just tickled me to death. That is yeah. too cool. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that so. is too cool. But if we can just, uh, if we can continue to make the progress at the same rate that we're going now, mm -hmm. And, and solve some of these issues with uh, density and so forth and, and uh, ease people's minds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we'll have a very good 22. Yeah. You know, I love the back roads. And to me, Gilmer yeah. County has some of the most amazing, beautiful back roads yeah. from the dirt roads, the gravel roads to the paved roads. And I always tell people, don't go up 515. Get out on these back roads. Yeah. And to me, Yukon Road is one of the most beautiful roads. And there's so much property out there that has never been touched, never been tapped into. But there's a beautiful house out there. And I wish I could remember who owned it. For many, many years, it sat there completely grown up. You couldn't see the house. I had contacted the previous owner. And I said, what's going on with this? They said, no, we don't want to sell it. We don't want to do this. Somebody finally bought it and went in there and restored this. It's a brick home, 60s brick home. It is absolutely fabulous. So take Yukon Road, take Yukon Road, take Boardtown Road, take Highway 52. Just get out yeah. and ad adventure. Just become adventurous about Gilmer County. Don't just yeah. go to town and go 515. Get out and take a Gilmer County adventure. You know, I thought that I had uh, kind of toured around the county before I got this job. And, mm -hmm. and you hadn't touched it, had you? Know. you? <laughs> Well, for, for here, I get a lot of calls saying you need to come out to this road and take a look and that mm -hmm, road. Mm -hmm. And so I'll, I'll go out to some road, maybe the first time I've ever been on that road. Uh, and I look around and it's just breathtaking. Uh huh, absolutely. And, yeah. and I had no idea it's even there until yep. I went out to check yep. on the condition of the road. Yep, yep. So it, we've got some areas here that. Beautiful. Just unbelievable. Yeah. Big Creek, Roy Road, I mean, there are so many places. Yeah. And, and if you haven't gotten off the beaten path, then you're doing yourself a disservice. Yes. If you come to Gilmer County, just turn your GPS off and, and start driving around and then put your GPS back on and say you want to get somewhere because that's really the only way to do it. If you if you listen to GPS, she'll take you here and there. Just get out and do it on your own and yeah. then get to a point that you're like, okay, it's getting dark and I don't know where I'm at. Hit the button and get yourself back to civilization. Hit, hit the home button now. So that's, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, but you know, congratulations for everything you've done for Gilmer County. Well, I know you. that you are up for re-election. How many terms yeah. will this be? Uh, if I'm elected again, it'll be three terms. Okay. And, and then uh, you're going to retire? Absolutely. I hear there's a rumor after this one you're done. You're going to be sitting on the porch. That's one that's not a rumor. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's but, this year, is it? 
Hmm? That's not this year, is it? The election, the election is, is yeah. this year. The term isn't up this year, is it? Yeah. Uh, the end of this year, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So you got to vote, Jack. You got to vote. Okay, Ooh. I want to read this one more That's time before we go again. off the air. <laughs> yeah. God met me more than halfway. He freed me from anxious fears. Y'all remember that. That is, um, tomorrow is going to be a very special day. My daughter Dawn will be here with me. I'm excited to have her, and I'm going to keep this cake here, Jack, for tomorrow when Dawn is here so we can really celebrate. And again, Jack wants to encourage you to pick up the phone and call him. Give me that. And again, his phone number is 407-415-1043, and you can contact him and become part of Focus. And remember, this Sunday at Tractor Supply, get in line at 1 o'clock and come and get your pets taken care of at a very discounted rate. And um, always take advantage of everything that Focus does for Gilmer County and Gilmer Animal Shelter. Don't forget to go and visit the animal shelter, but I'm gonna warn y'all, if you're headed by Highway 52 East and you see the East Side Grill, go in there and get you an order of junkyard fries. They are to die for, they are so good. And then when you walk in the animal shelter, the animals go, she smells like chili. <laughs> so you'll love it, you'll love it. By the way, did you see the meals, the Christmas meals at the dogs and cats at the animal I did got? not, I did not. I need oh, to check that out. Either. Yeah, I need to check yeah. that out. Well, thank you both for being here today and thank you for joining us on ETC. Um, Again, um, we weren't on Facebook today, but this will be downloaded to YouTube, and then you can check it out. And at that point in time, we'll post it on Facebook. So see you again soon, only on ETC, where rivers, mountains, and good friends meet. You got me looking on.